Well, Stetson Lane, we've looked at magnets a lot in class, and we're going to look at a few magnets today. And Lane, I've given you a little ceramic block magnet there. And we know that magnets can attract other magnets, right? Yep. So if we put these magnets together with opposite poles facing, they stick together. Yeah, they attract, they stick together. And we can pull them apart, and it doesn't take a lot of effort, right? That's no. not a very strong magnetic force. And we can take it, we've got our light pole behind us here. We're going to stick it to the light pole, pull it off, stick it, pull it off. So it does have a magnetic force, it does attract to iron steel objects but it's not a very powerful magnet. Um, but what we're going to look at next, let me have these, and I've got another magnet here. And this one's a little bit different. Stetson, I'm going to put this one here on the light pole. Just come pull this out for me. A little bit harder to pull, isn't it? Yeah. And you can stick it, and I mean, it'll just bang on there. You can pull it off, maybe. <laughs> All right. And this magnet almost, if you stuck it to a flat surface, it actually takes 100 pounds force to pull it. Um, on this, it's a curved surface, so it doesn't stick quite as well, and you, you, know, you can pull it off, but it, you almost have to kind of tilt it to, to get it to come loose. If you pull it straight, it's pretty solid. So this is that idea of a stronger magnet. Now, we called these permanent magnets. And do you remember what a permanent magnet is from class? Yes. What is it? Um, it's something that's flat and really, really well, but a permanent magnet. What, what does it mean if it's permanent? It's always a magnet. Always a magnet. Yeah, exactly. Right? This will always stick to this light. It will never stop. Right. These, uh, the ceramic blocks, they'll always stick to the light pole. Okay? But we also can make some very powerful temporary magnets. Okay, so right here I have a temporary magnet. Hold that lane. Let's stick these together and see if anything happens. Nope, not, well, they won't even stick a little bit, will they? Because this is a type of electromagnet. And we know an electromagnet needs what to make it a magnet? Electric. Electricity, right? We've got a D battery on here. And you remember in class we made electromagnets, it's been a while I know, yeah. but we made electromagnets with a nail and a 9 volt battery or a D battery and you wind the mm -hmm. copper wire around it. Mm -hmm. This works exactly like that. It's just a lot more powerful. Yeah. And this is actually, they, they have a name for it, it's called an ironclad electromagnet. And it's got wire coiled inside here, but it's coiled like very thick, very tightly. So you're actually running elect electrical current through a lot of wire. It's making a very strong magnetic field. And I'm just going to let you attach those again. Okay. Now try to pull on it a little bit. Not so easy to pull apart, is it? All right. Oh, goodness. All right. So that's that idea of being a temporary magnet. And in this case, a very powerful temporary magnet. Here you go, Stetson, y'all want to try it? Yes. There you go. Just, just make sure you're pulling straight. Go ahead, Lane. Come over here. Just make sure you pull it straight. So again, not too easy to pull apart, is it? No. Y'all, you can almost use that and have a tug of war no. with it. Oh, there he goes. All right. So our ironclad electromagnet. Pretty neat stuff. Yep. All right. So now we're over here by our swing set, and I've, I've obviously made some modifications, right? And we've actually, we've got two of these magnets now, our ironclad electromagnets. And again, powerful magnets, right? And we're going to see just how powerful they are. So we've got this, we've kind of replaced some links in the chain on the swing set here. And we're going to see if these can hold us to swing, all right? Well, I don't want to get on it. I'm going to see if it can hold you to swing, all right? But obviously, you know, if, it, if it's too much force, it's going to break. You'll fall a couple inches. Not the end of the world. Just don't fall out of the swing, right? But you should be okay. You know, these magnets can hold quite a bit of weight. And who wants to try it first? I will. Lane, you want to go first? All right, just have a seat in the swing. Now, don't swing too hard, but uh, okay. just, just sit in there and swing a little bit. And let's see if these two magnets can support your weight. So, so they can, right? Yeah. Again, these, these temporary magnets we've made using electrical current are able to hold you up there. Now, if we want to, if you want to stop swinging a minute, you can see if we take one loose, what's going to happen? Drop. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Let's wait till you stop swinging. We'll drop you in three, two, one. Ah! There you go. All right. So ironclad electromagnets holding up our swing. Uh, Stetson, you want to give it a try? Yeah. All right. Let me hook them back up. There we go. All right. I'm gonna get on and swing a little bit. Yay! All right. So again, ironclad electromagnets holding up our swing. 